Hello, so in this problem we have to find the derivative. So the first step is to rewrite the function in a way that makes it easier to differentiate. So to do that we'll write each of these x's as x to a power. So here it'll be x, and the trick is it's always whatever number is here, so there's a 1, and then you divide by whatever number is here, and there's an invisible 2 here, so it's 1 over 2. It's always this number over this number. And then minus, same thing here, it'll be 1 over 3. So x to the 1 over 3. Good stuff. Now we're ready to take the derivative, so let's do it. So f prime of x. So the power rule says you take this and you put it in the front. So it'll be 1 half x, and then you subtract 1, so it's 1 half minus 1. So you could think of 1 as a number over 2, so it's 1 half minus 2 halves. And the reason you do that is so you can actually perform the subtraction. So now you just do 1 minus 2, and that gives you negative 1. So it's just negative 1 half. Same thing here, we put the 1 third in the front, so minus 1 third x to the, and same thing, we have 1 third minus 1. So think of it as a number over 3. So think of 1 as a number over 3, so 3 over 3. And then 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So we get negative 2 thirds, boom, there it is. And that's it, that's the final uh, answer. You don't have to worry uh, you know, about like bringing it back down and writing it uh, with positive exponents. You can leave your answer like this. That, that's totally okay. If you wanted to, you could. You could do this. You could do 1 half times 1 over x to the 1 half minus 1 third, you know, 1 over x to the 2 thirds. You could do that. You could even combine it uh, and write it like this. 1 over 2x to the 1 half if you really wanted to minus 1 over 3x to the 2 thirds. So that would also be okay, but I prefer this uh, <laughs> because it's easier. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.